Hi everyone, it's me and as promised I will be making a Ocarina Q&A video. I know I'm a small channel but I just thought this would be a good video to make to refer people to if they have certain questions. Especially one question I've just been getting very very often. If you want to know more about me and about Ocarina then make sure to stick around until the end of the video. At the end I will be <laughs> sharing with you the most frequently asked question. Let's get into it. So I got a question from Anime Evergreen Athena. Do you have a flute background? If you don't mind me asking. Either way, I think that it's awesome that you know how to play. <laughs> Thank you very much. And the answer to this question is, yes, I do. I actually learned recorder in primary school. And I also did after school recorder lessons. At the time though, I was really lazy and reluctant to go to the lessons. But I did go and I'm really glad I did because therefore I have that um, foundation of reading notes. The only thing that I had to learn was to transpose the fingering, like the muscle memory with the fingering and the um, sheet music. That was the only thing I really needed to get a hang of when I started Ocarina, but I already had that uh, foundation, so that was really helpful. Connected to this question is a very similar one, but I also want to just read it out uh, from all awesome nerdle. <laughs> Did you know something about music before picking the ocarina? I'm learning how to play it and I'm kind of scared to start learning music notation. A part of me wants to learn right away but the other part just wants to play. <laughs> Super relatable comment. Thank you for your comment and I think it's a very fair thing to ask because if you're watching my videos and you see my six month ocarina progress video it is very important to understand the starting point of the person you're comparing yourself to. So in my case, I already knew how to read notes. So maybe in that sense, I had an advantage compared to other people. Having said that, I think it's not impossible to learn um, music notations as an adult. And I can say that just simply because I'm learning a lot of new things now as an adult. And it might take a little bit longer because of, um, you know, because of life, you have less time, you have more responsibilities. So fair enough, but I still think that taking the time being patient, slowly getting to uh, learn the music notations is still uh, a big advice I would give you. But it is a fair point that I already learned it as a child, so I'm not the best comparison material when it comes to that, because I don't have experience learning music notation as an adult. I do have one recommendation. I don't know if you remember in my five uh, ocarina tips video for beginners, I actually was dissing the whole ocarina sheets, the one with the ocarina icons on them. But at the beginning, they are awesome to just start playing and to just feel like you're actually learning songs. And I recommend using them at the beginning for easy songs. So like the Zelda's Lullaby or I'll put a few ideas here that you can uh, use. Use those sheets, but still learn music notation. In my uh, experience, I remember that I tried to learn Mario's theme. So the da 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 Wow, I can't sing. <laughs> that song, and I remember seeing the sheet, and it was just like, oh my god, like you don't know how long to hold the notes, and it's just like big brain error. And I remember looking at the sheet and thinking, I can learn how to read this, just how you can learn anything. But then the question is, is it really worth it to do that? To spend the time learning this type of sheet music reading, if you can also just learn music notation, which is much more universal, you can transpose that to many other things in your life. So for me, it's also just an efficiency thing where I'm like, it makes so much more sense to just learn music notations. So those are my two cents, take what resonates, but that's what I would suggest to you. So the next question is from Joey John 5277 Where did you buy your ocarina from? Is it any good? I love how straight to the point it is. Well, the ocarina that I use is the Night by Noble Alto C ocarina. And is it any good? I think it says a lot that after all of this time having played this ocarina, I never have felt any urge to buy any other one. It is on the agenda in the future, but honestly, it just still does the job for me. And as I still have a lot of things to learn, yeah, I just don't feel the need to upgrade right now. <laughs> But let me just give you my reasons as to why I think this is an awesome beginner ocarina. The Night by Noble ocarina is a plastic ocarina, but it has a very high quality finish. It's like a buttery feel and it's really shiny and good looking. Like in Japanese you would say oshare. 
it just feels like such a high quality and um, I'd say it's a mid tier it's not in any way a very high-end ocarina that is one point that already makes it very attractive like it's plastic but it looks good so let me just put it this way if it was a really beautiful ocarina but the sound was bad I would have just been like yeah I don't care you look nice but you sound horrible right but no, this ocarina actually sounds good, so nothing was compromised in this ocarina, I feel. So if it sounds good enough, and it's plastic, which means it's not gonna break on you after like dropping it once, it just makes sense to have this durable option. So yeah, that is my reason as to why I love this ocarina. Oh yeah, and I'm almost forgetting where I bought it. I bought it on eBay, simply on eBay, look up Alto C Ocarina. Uh, Night by Noble, and uh, there you will find it. Next question, which I think is a very good question. It's by Jabrock8187. I'm sorry if I'm slaughtering your name here. Uh, how long were you practicing every day? The progress is impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Well, yeah, I'm a big, big, big advocate for every day a little bit is better than doing a really huge, long session, strenuous session once a week or once a month. Consistency is key. Like in the video, the six month Ocarina progress, I said to myself at the start of my journey, like I wanna have a uh, solid foundation in Ocarina. That was my goal. And I told myself, I'm going to practice every single day. So sometimes I practice 10 minutes. Sometimes that became half an hour. Sometimes it was an hour, but I made sure to practice every day, even if it was just five minutes that I had time for, I would do it. And I noticed that that is really the way to go because also your body needs time to process all the new information that it's getting in. And therefore, I think that when you have a little bit every day, your body can actually process that better and you will see the improvement. A lot in learning is also believing in your progress because it's not like I knew I was gonna be where I was today. I didn't know that. I wanted it <laughs> though. That's always what I say about manifestation. I'm actually not a huge fan of the whole manifestation thing. I think it's more about believing in that you can do it. I think that's more what it is. So you're just gonna put in the reps to actually get to where you want to be. So it's actually a lot more simple than that we make it out to be a lot of the time. I think the difference between people that succeed in learning a skill and people that don't is simply that the person that succeeded actually believed that they could do it and therefore they kept doing it even if it was hard that day or even if they don't see any progress they still showed up every day. <laughs> Sorry I went on a tangent there but short answer is pretty much it doesn't matter if your sessions are long or short, just make sure to practice consistently. You will definitely improve. All right, and the last question, and this is the most frequently asked question, is sheets, 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 sheets. Where can I find the sheets? Do you have any tabs? Oh my goodness. And I am so sorry to disappoint you all, but I actually play by ear nowadays. At the beginning though, I did use Sheets and I stumbled upon this one Dropbox website and I hope that this guy, I think it's a guy, doesn't mind me sharing his Dropbox but it's pretty amazing stuff. He does the music notations and also the ocarina icons on top which is debunking the whole thing about what I was saying that I, what I don't like about the ocarina sheets because in that way you actually know how long to hold the notes and it's a lot more clear so they are absolutely perfect and um, I have used a fair amount of his sheet music. So I will link that one down in the description below. But for the rest, I honestly use my ear mainly to learn music. Some of you have been telling me that you're interested in seeing how I learn new songs, how I study new songs. I, I don't really know if that would be an interesting video, honestly, because I have a quite chaotic process and a very, it's a very feeling type process in how I learn songs. But if you're interested, please let me know in the comment section below if that's something you want to see. Also, if you have any other questions regarding Ocarina, 
anything you want to know maybe about me let me know in the comment section below and I will gladly answer it. I've been seeing some new subscribers in my channel so for all people who are new here hello I'm Karen and this is New Book Life basically a channel about learning new things about being a late bloomer and that it's never too late to learn. Um, I hope this can be a place where we can encourage each other create an energy to never give up and to keep going for the things that we love. So if that's something that interests you then I hope to see you in my next video. Have a lovely day and see you next time. Bye bye!